Hi there, Scorpio. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at June 12 through June 18. This week's mixed bag of influences is going to keep you running here, there, and everywhere this week. Mercury is true to form in dual Gemini, making two different alignments on the same day. Now, Mercury in Gemini is a very busy planet indeed, and that's where it is. Venus is in Taurus, and it's very busy. Whenever a sign is in its hometown sign, I always think of the Bruce Springsteen song, My Hometown, it means that it's working extra hard. So we've got Venus in Taurus, Mercury in Gemini, and Neptune in Pisces. More about that later. So there's quite a few planets in their home signs. Right after that auspicious meeting, Mercury turns around and squares Neptune. This mixture of happy talk and confusing thoughts is a constant reminder that Mercury can speak out of both sides of its mouth. And Tuesday is probably a day when you can't trust either one. Things get pretty real on Thursday, June 15, when the Sun and Saturn oppose each other. This is the only time this year that these two planets oppose each other. And the takeaway is that it's time to deal with your responsibilities, learn your life lessons, and deal with authority figures. So, three things that none of us really like to do, right? Now, Neptune, the planet of dreams and fantasy and the planet that rules Pisces, goes out of phase on Friday in your fifth house of romance, creativity, and self-fulfillment. And depending on the state of your unconscious, this reversal can mean that the next five months will be either a fertile time for sowing your creative seeds or an unending nightmare if you choose to confront your personal demons. Whenever Neptune goes offline like this, it's time to take a good hard look at the debris floating in your personal river of denial. Now I know that sounds a bit like a bumper sticker, what's in your personal river of denial, but we all have stuff. We all have secrets, and you Scorpios are the, the, the king of secrets. And I'd say that Geminis are the queen. I really feel that Geminis can be very secretive, and we never really feel like you know a Gemini. If you think of Nicole Kidman or Angelina Jolie, there's something very private about them. Scorpios are very private. Leonardo DiCaprio, Scarlett Johansson. Um, Amber Heard, you know, I mean, we know what we know through um, the press, but we don't know that much about them. They're not an open book like, say, Kate Hudson or Mariah Carey or someone like that who would tell you what she ate for breakfast if you asked. So maybe it's time for you to just uh, open up just that little bit and let people in just that little bit. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I look forward to speaking to you again next week.